The question says the IUPAC name of the complex. This is very interesting complex. Pay attention very carefully. Why it is very interesting? Because in this case O2 is there. Here we have the O2 and then bracket. We have O and then hole twice is there. Okay. So keep in mind this is what peroxide. This is what we have peroxide is there. Peroxide. And this is common oxide. Common oxide is there. Okay. Like we have H2O2 is there. Hydrogen peroxide. So this is peroxide. So it will be a very interesting part you know to calculate the oxidation number of the central metal atom. Okay, if you get confused, you no, know, so definitely you will mess up with the oxidation number of the central metal atom. Okay, now if you look at the complex, you can see. Let me first of all write down the complex. We have it is K2 is there, okay, and then we have Cr, okay, and Cn hold twice is there, O2 peroxide, then O hold twice, and then we have ammonia, okay, only one molecule is there for ammonia. Okay, now pay attention carefully. If I break this complex from here, so this is what positive part and this entire portion is what negative part. So you can see the central metal atom is present in the negative part. Means we have to use its special name. It is chromium, so I will use as a chromate. Okay, now it is very clear. The order for the naming of the complex we follow. What is the order? We have number of ligands. First of all, number of ligands. And then we have type of ligands. If more than one type of ligands are there, we arrange them in alphabetical order. Then we have the central metal atom. And then oxidation number of the central metal atom is to be written in Roman numbers. Okay, that is the order we follow. Oxidation number we can calculate. Now pay attention carefully. Potassium. Each potassium is what plus 1. So 2 multiplied by plus 1 is there. Okay. For chromium, we have to calculate oxidation numbers. And then we have Cn, cyanide ion. This is a negative ligand, unidentate negative ligand. So 2 multiplied by minus 1. Plus, this is what peroxide. 1 oxygen is what? 1 oxygen is minus 1. Then 2 oxygen will be what? Minus 2. Very interesting part. In peroxide, oxygen is always minus 1 is there. So oral charge is what? Minus 2. I mentioned it is minus 2. Plus, this is common oxide. One oxygen is what? Minus 2. One oxygen is what? Minus 2. Then 2 oxygen. 2 to the 4. It will be minus 4 is there. Minus 4. And ammonia is a neutral ligand. It does not carry any charge. We can mention plus 0 is equal to overall charge. For this complex is 0 because neutral complex is there. Simplify. We have plus 2 plus Cr minus 2. Then it is minus 2. Uh, sorry, it is minus 4. Okay. We have minus 4 and is equal to 0 okay and then you can see plus 2 minus 2 will cancel out then cr minus 2 and minus 4 is equal to 0 and then we get cr is equal to plus 6 chromium is present in plus 6 oxidation number very interesting part okay now let's uh, uh, name this complex this is the counter ion okay so we have the name that is potassium okay we have potassium we do not write as dipotassium because this two is coming by by balancing the charge of cation as well as anionic part okay so we have potassium only we do not focus on the number of uh, counter ion okay only name then we have to go for the number of ligands and before that we have different type of ligands are there so we follow the alphabetical order this is starting from what sign we, we have cyanido will be there cyanido is starting from c this is what paroxo paroxo is there this is what oxo and this is what amine is there this is amine is there very interesting okay so you can see first part we have amine then second cyano and then this is what uh, third part and then we have fourth party there. This order we can follow to arrange these uh, these ligands in alphabetical order. The first is what amine only one molecule. So potassium we can mention it is potassium amine is there. Very interesting amine. Next uh, di cyanido because two huh? two ligands are given there. So we can mention it is di cyanido. Very interesting. And then we have di oxo is there. We have di oxo. And then after that paroxo is there. We have paroxo. Okay. And after that you can see all the ligands are written. Potassium, amine, di cyanido, di oxo, paroxo. And then we have the central metal atom. Central metal atom is special name. It, it will become chromate because this is present in anionic complex. This is what we have chromate is there. Chromate. And oxidation number 6 is there. It is to be written in Roman numeral. Then we have 6. And after that 
we have okay then that's it because counter and we have written already at the start name of the complex is potassium amine dicyanido dioxo peroxo chromate and six is there any option given here we have potassium amine potassium amine dicyanido dicyanido dioxo dioxo very good peroxo we have peroxo and we have chromate and six is there chromate and six is there very interesting okay so we got option a is correct